episode of Alice April Academy Online. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to play D minor open chord. Take a quick look at the chart. So here's the visual for D minor chord. I wanna show you something really interesting. When I was learning minor chords, I had a question about minor third, sixth, and seventh degrees of the scale. Because when you look at D minor scale, which is the first one that has a chord highlighted with the red um, marker, it has only one flat, B flat, right? But then you hear, well, the third, of the sixth, and the seventh are flat. And in many cases, that doesn't make any sense. So I figured I'd make it clear for you. We are going to learn scales right after the chords, actually, right after the basic chords, just because I feel like it's very beneficial to know and understand what the chords are built from. But without showing you how the scale is built, I'm just gonna hopefully explain to you how this works. So let's take a look at a minor scale versus major scale. As you can see right here, this is our minor scale. And this below is our major scale. So you can see that in D major, you have F sharp and C sharp. Now major scale is built using whole steps and half steps. And I will explain to you later but basically it's the distances between the notes go like this. This between these two is a whole step, between these two is a whole step, then there's a half step here, then again whole step, whole step, whole step, and half step. So it goes like this, whole whole half, whole 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 half. And again there's going to be a video about it but don't think about it just yet. Just see that in the major scale you have F sharp and C sharp. And these are the degrees of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's our octave from D to D. And now you can see that in the minor scale, instead of F sharp, we have F. So that is a flat third because F sharp is a regular major scale um, third, right? So to make this one into a minor scale third, we gotta flatten it. So if you take F sharp and take it half step lower, it's gonna turn into F. So that is actually a flat third. Now you take number six and you see B in the major scale is just B, but in the minor scale, we gotta take it half step lower to make it into a B flat. Does that make sense? And then again, C sharp in the major scale has to be flatted. So we take C sharp, take it half step lower, and it turns into a C. So that is how the third is flat, the sixth is flat, and the seventh is flat. Hopefully now that makes sense. So now let's take a look at how we actually play an open chord. And again, I wanted to let you know that this right here, number one, is a finger number. So you play with finger one, you play F note, which is on E string. See right here, this is our E string, first string, right? And this is a first fret. See how I marked the third fret here? So this is your first fret, uh, first fret, first string, E string, and it is our F note. And this is our third degree of the scale. So right here, see, this is the third. The chord is D, F, A. And now the, this note right here is on G string, which is the third string, second fret. And it is A. It is a fifth degree of the scale, see, the fifth one. And you play it with finger number two. And the next up, we have our root note, which is a D, right? which is number one, at first degree of the scale. You play it with, with finger number three on third fret, B string, 
because I can string. So if you strum these four strings, this one, this one, this one, and this one, there's your D minor chord. Now just see this right here, this open string is a D. So that is your another D root note. But since you don't actually press it, I don't make anything here. So whenever I show you on guitar, it will actually make sense. But these three guys make a D minor chord. So there you go. Let's look at the guitar now. So here's how we play D minor on guitar. First finger goes, as I mentioned, on E string on the first fret, first string right here with finger number one. Then the second finger goes on G string. This is our A note. This is F and this is A with finger number two on G string, second fret. And the third finger goes on your D note, which is B string on third fret. And this guy right here open you can see where my finger is. It's a string number four open. We all know it's a D, right? And you can see it clearly on the chart. So if you strum these four, that is your D minor chord. Now the cool part about this chord is if you just play these three notes and you move them knowing that this is your root note, this is what? So this is D, F, which is a third, minor third, right? That's your minor third, and that is A, which is a fifth. If you move this shape, and let's say you play it right here, this note turns into what? F sharp, right? This turns into what? A sharp, right? And this turns into what? D sharp, right? So when you strum these three, that's a what? A D sharp minor. If you play it here, then you got your E, right? And then other notes that are in E minor chord. So check this out. It's the same exact chord. So this shape right here, is a movable shape. Just thought it's something cool for you to know if you only strum those three strings. Now you can play around with this knowledge, apply it however you want it, and share with me in the comments below what do you think about it. Isn't that cool that now you know what chords you can play using the shape? and actually understand what notes are in it, what degrees of the scales are in it. I think it's mind-blowing information if you're a beginner guitarist and if you are learning this to begin with, this gives you a lot of knowledge and this gives you a lot of options to play with. I wish I would know that when I just started and I know it might seem like a lot of information, but trust me, if you just Focus on learning certain fundamentals first, like learning the names of your strings and understanding the distances between the notes that you have half steps. This is your chromatic scale, right? And if you jump from this to this, it's a whole step. Or from this to this, it's a whole step. Those kind of things and understanding that this major scale is a uh, a certain combination of whole steps and half steps like I showed you in the chart, then it's amazing because you start understanding so many amazing things. Like if this is, you know this is your D because you know this is your A, right? So every adult dog growls, barks, and eats. So this is a what? A. Then you know you know that there are naturally occurring half steps between B and C and E and F, right? So you know that this is gonna be what? 
B, C, D, knowing your um, formula for a scale, you will be able to know that this right here is your D major scale. Now, if you flatten third, sixth, and seventh, you got your minor scale. So you got one, two, three. So it has to be flat, right? So you'll go. Then fourth, then fifth, and then sixth is here, right? But you gotta flatten it, so that's flat six. And then this is your seventh, right? So you gotta flatten your seventh, and then this is your octave. So check this out, you go. And you got your minor scale right there. How cool is that? So knowing this basic theory will open up a whole lot of opportunities for you as a, as a guitarist. And in this case, because we're learning the guitar here. So stay tuned. E minor is coming up next. And now that I showed you D minor scale, how to play it, again, you start with your D and then you just figure out how it goes. You can also play it on one string, right? D, then you know that this is your E, right? But you gotta flatten it, so right here. That's your D minor scale right there. And I also challenge you to listen to how it sounds and pick it up by ear. That's what I did when I was learning. And it is super beneficial because you get to learn your sounds, like the distances between the notes, just by singing it to yourself. So you'll go, okay, this is my D, right? Na, na, a solo. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sing an octave higher. Na, 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 na. So you'll memorize how it sounds, and then you can take any note like C, na, and you'll go, na, 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 na. You can sing your minor scale. That's right, Kiza. She's participating. So, anyways. It's really cool to be able to actually sing it and pick it up by ear. Just pluck in the strings and be like, okay, what am I doing here? Just try it. I guarantee you're gonna have so much fun if you love music as much as I do. And if you really want to learn more about it, then this is gonna just blow your mind. All right, I love you guys. And hopefully this lesson is fun and beneficial. If you have any questions, Leave them in the comments below. I will gladly answer them on Patreon. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video coming up. I love you. See you in the next video. Bye.